The criminalization of prostitution institutionalizes hostility between sex workers, their clients, and law enforcement. The full decriminalization of adult consensual sex work is necessary to improve policing in the United States. Criminalization of adult consensual sex workers and their clients have significant negative consequences. First, it prevents survivors of rape and human trafficking from being able to report crimes committed against them. It encourages police misconduct, erodes trust between police departments and communities, wastes police resources and taxpayer money enforcing victimless crimes, and demoralizes police departments. Research has found that misconduct directed at sex workers is rampant within police departments. The criminalization of prostitution is a basis from which unethical police engage in criminal behaviors, including corruption, robbery, sexual assault, and even murder of sex workers and their clients. In 2017, a New York City police detective coerced a 13-year-old runaway into prostitution, trafficking her. Prosecutors say 20 men paid the detective to rape the victim. He had served in the department for 14 years. In 2017, Yang Song leapt to her death to avoid arrest by New York City Vice, who were raiding the massage parlor where she worked. Months before her death, she had been sexually assaulted by an NYPD officer at gunpoint. When she reported it and identified her assailant, no effort by the police department was made to follow up. Instead, they began harassing Yang, ultimately leading to her death. In 2018, an undercover Columbus, Ohio police officer shot and killed 23-year-old sex worker Donna Dalton in an unmarked police car. The officer has been indicted on murder charges. He was also arrested by the FBI for kidnapping and raping numerous other sex workers. Norma Jean, a former Los Angeles police officer who tracks crimes committed by law enforcement, has documented hundreds of known cases of police who have assaulted, extorted, trafficked, raped, or murdered sex workers. Departments across the country often mark crimes committed against sex workers as NHI, or No Humans Involved, which deprioritizes their cases, even if a sex worker was the victim of a brutal rape or murder. Serial killers and rapists could be caught sooner if we listened to sex workers instead of arresting them. Because sex workers, including trafficked minors, are viewed as criminals, they become easy targets for abusive behavior at the hands of law enforcement. Under the guise of stopping human trafficking, police go to great lengths to arrest sex workers in ethically questionable and expensive operations. The most frequent target of these raids are Asian-owned massage parlors. Police departments waste countless hours conducting elaborate missions to watch innocent people in private rooms undress. Rarely do these stings undercover actual instances of human trafficking. Worse yet, while technically illegal, undercover cops regularly sexually assault sex workers and then arrest them without facing any consequences. Law enforcement resources and time are misspent going after consenting adults for private behavior. These enormous costs include paying for surveillance, arrests, processing, court staff, prosecutors, judges, and more. These costs are rarely, if ever, recovered from those who are convicted. This wasting of resources is not only harmful to those they arrest, but also prevents police from addressing more violent crimes, such as human trafficking and sexual assault. If prostitution were fully decriminalized, law enforcement could focus on targeting trafficking and other violent crimes. Resources could be redirected to provide survivors the support they need. In 2003, New Zealand passed the Prostitution Reform Act, becoming the first country to fully decriminalize sex work. Since then, relationships with police have changed for the better. Rather than being targeted and prosecuted, sex workers are now protected by law enforcement. Violent clients can be reported to the police, and violence overall has been reduced. The decriminalization of sex work 
is urgently needed for better policing. Learn more at decriminalizesex.work.